this is a documentary part two about the pregnancy. It was hard talking about what happened because when God gives you life and he gives life to an unborn, then it was meant to be. But the miscarriage took a total effect over my life because of the fact that I lost one, I gained one. But when you lose a child, anybody who knows this woman wise miscarriage, it does hurt you. And that, you know, I feel as though God only put as much on me as I can bury. And all the things I've been through in my life itself, it seems as though my blessings are my blessings. And I thank God for my blessings. So carrying the baby that I'm carrying now is not for my kid's father it's from a different guy but i'm having issues with the kid's father girlfriend thinking that's his baby like literally we don't be around each other when he do come around he only take care of his children living in this crazy world nobody has time for the drama like carrying this baby is gonna be a beautiful experience but it's really stressing me out like i literally cannot think eat or sleep after doing a documentary yesterday. So I'm giving social media a, a little bit of rest, but I want everybody to know that this documentary is just me coming brief on yesterday's documentary about my miscarriage. And due to the accident, I lost that baby and I bleed for four weeks straight. And I was in so much pain and I know some videos on TikTok was saying my back hurt and I was in pain. That was where it was coming from. But I didn't want to address that to the world. And I feel like it wasn't necessary to address it to the world. But I hate when somebody keeps saying that I faked my pregnancy when I didn't. And I know how much pain I went through going through that miscarriage. And how much it hurt in me. But I still smile through the pain. And I still show that smile even when I was doing videos on TikTok and Instagram. Not one time a person could say they saw me not smiling. Because I still was smiling through that. And see, I gained one back, but at the end of the day, I lost one. And people saying that you can't even have a baby after losing a baby, after having a miscarriage, that's a lie. Two weeks after that, you can get pregnant. I don't had too many kids. I don't had too many miscarriages. I know. But I'm thanking God that I could clear the air and that I could open up about my situation and let everybody know, you know, how I'm really doing and what's going on with me. If you don't understand me, if you don't know me, then how can you agree on what I'm saying or what I got going on? And just like I always say, real recognize real. And right now I'm in a lot of pain and I'm going through a lot. But at the end of the day, I am pregnant again. I'm going to thank God for this blessing that I do have. And the one that I did lost, maybe it was not meant to be. But I, I, I lost that baby in that car wreck that day because I was stressed out about my car being hit. So this is the documentary part one. Part two is coming when I get the papers from my doctors. I'm going to put them up there, let everybody see. On the doc, on the documents, it says threatening abortion due to motor vehicle crash accident. And that hurt it. So if you know me, then you know my story.